All right, round two. Think we can beat this this time? Okay. So I'm going to take the same. Okay. Give you the others. I, for the middle two, does it actually have a, um, does it care? Because it seems like front has to be a warrior, back has to be a healer. But I, I'm wondering if you could actually have two wait, uh, two mages or two scouts. I don't know. We haven't unlocked enough characters to mm. actually experience that. You okay. can just hit continue. We've already seen the this story. This is the same story. Okay. All right. Let us depart. I think I will start our subsequent episodes uh, here. Mm -hmm. Just to cut down on time. Okay. So, we were going to go for that hatch, right? It seems to be an interesting point, but that means we have to go north. Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, I don't really care about man maximizing right now. Corn! Oh, evil corn! Pep corn! Uh, let's see. Intercept. How much energy do I have? There we go. That's a good start. Now, you did some things. Okay, so you, you did some things here. I upgraded stuff. You did. Uh, let's see. So I should probably use my Yeah, you might zero. as well do sprint, sprint and deflect a bunch. I have a lot of poison now. You do. Okay. So you have six mana. Mm-hmm. Um... I would... I can apply a mark, yeah, obviously. I would start by slicing the corn. Mm-hmm. Twice? I mean, I can... Could I kill them with just an aimed shot? An aimed shot would kill him. Uh, you might be better off leaving him alive. Um, and hitting one of the, uh, one of the other corns instead. Because you could outright kill him, but I feel like Evelyn or Reginald probably has a lower damage hit that could smack him around. Okay. I'll hit that guy and poison him. Yeah. You might as well get him with a poison dart, too. And then I'd probably save your energy for the next round. Aim shot's okay. Uh, no, actually hit him. Because now we've got two guys on the cusp of death that we might be able to take out immediately. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have just zap and the charge battery. So if, uh, Should I charge battery, no, 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 the middle no. guy? No. So he's got five poison. Oh, but that's the at the end of his turn. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would... S oh, Zap is random. Oh, it's a random monster. I didn't realize that. Ah! So I would actually... Uh, I'd charge battery the guy in the back twice. Okay. And then just pop Zap and just see what happens. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and who should I elemental ward? Uh, Not that it really matters. They're probably going to die Yeah, I think they're going to die. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Save your, save your juice. Alright. So... It's odd going back to the beginning. After getting used to having more and more difficult fights. Mm hmm That now we're in now easy we're in peasy farm. town. Yep. Farmville. So poison does damage at the end of a round. Uh, mm. Let's see. Do I... You know what? I'll flash him. That came out So weird. poison's more effective against long-lasting monsters. Yeah, well, I, really, it's just a, the thing of uh, if an enemy is poisoned... Popcorn uh, burst? Really? Rude. Slice and dice him. No, no sense in... Why bother? Yeah, yeah, why do that? There I make this mistake all the time when I'm playing deck builders where I'm just like, I realize that I'm winning, but I could win harder. Well, let's see. Ooh. Well, I could get another element. Oh, this is, that's an upgraded elemental ward, isn't it? It is. And I could get another Curse of Elements. Up to you on that one. It's... Upgraded Curse of Elements is not terrible. Could upgraded elemental ward isn't terrible either. Well, no. It's a normal Curse of Elements. Upgraded elemental ward, right? Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Also, I could get more slices, or I could get another ice shot. What's the sweet... Oh, I don't have stanza. Oh, so he could actually get... 
healing abilities. But I haven't gotten stanza yet. Otherwise, I could also just choose shards. Yeah, I go for the shards. Because you're not going frost this time around as much. Crops on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burned field in a burning house. In front of the house, there's a fire imp causing fires next to some burning cornies. They're called cornies. I guess so. Even half burned, the house may contain something valuable, but you'll have to deal with the fire imp and cornies first. You can deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore him. I would say we just attack them head on. So there's an attack head on. Because if we fail, we usually get an injury, which kind of sucks. I can try to cast some rain to scare the imp. Yeah, but it's like if we fail, we get an injury or a bad thing. Otherwise, we just kill it. Like we, Okay, just combat. Yeah, we kick butt. Without hesitation, you charge forward. Yeah, it's just these guys. Oh, look, they're charred. Oh, they are. Okay. If they really wanted to make it believable, what they would have is they would have these half-popped warts all over. You know when you've seen corn yeah. that's partially popped? Ugh. <laughs> Okay, well, deflect. Oh. Trace? Uh, no, Trace Trace on Evelyn. Ooh. Trace on Evelyn? Yeah, probably. I get rid of the elemental wards. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I can do a poison dart on whom? Um, Front guy? Let's think about this for end? a second. So, you could do a hunter's mark. Um, well, this is a... You've got, you've got Poison Dart, you've got... Mm, let's do the math. So that does 4 damage, your Poisonous Shot does 15, and your Aimed Shot does 15 as well. I also have Slice. Honestly? The upgrade. I would slice. say Hunter's Mark the Front Corn. Mm -hmm. Slice him. Poison Dart him, because that gets the bonus damage from the Hunter's Mark. And then arrow him yeah. with the poisonous shot. Yeah. I mean, he's just going to die. Yeah, he'll get one turn in, but he will die. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's her turn. Well, oh, mana gem, definitely. And then really it's just Curse of Elements and the batteries. Yeah, so I'd, I'd probably Curse of Elements... Eh. Should probably I... the back guy. The imp. Yeah. And should I battery charge him? Yeah, might as well. Should I use transmission on anyone? Um, prob probably Andrin. Okay, sure. Andrin does the most amount of damage of the entire crew, I think. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Sort of. Ah, because if you use the rain, then that's going to take the burning off of you and yeah, Magnus. Yeah, which is kind of beneficial, but it also takes the burning off the enemies, and so there's a bit of there's a bit of a question on how worth it that is. Mm -hmm. That I might also I might almost want to just accept the fire damage because it's fairly minimal. Mm, mm -hmm. Um, barrier myself and then just heal Evelyn. Uh, and then skip the healing rain because we should be able to kill him on the next round. Okay, we have deflect adrenaline, and do I just do slices? So I would no, aim shot the, the imp. With the weaker one. 15. Oh. Uh, one second. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. frost. Wait, if I use frost, no, no, will that, that get him? No, that costs three. Oh, if you hit him with the aim shot, he's burning. Okay. So he'll take three damage at the start of his turn. And then I'd slice and dice the corn. Hmm. And then... I do have enough energy for one more shot. I'd probably just hit him with the aim shot anyway. The imp or the corn? Corn. Ah, right, because the imp is going to go out anyway. Yep. Unrealistically, Magnus doesn't have a whole lot of damage dealing abilities. Well, he does have a fast strike. Yep. It's going to start its turn in bloom. Oh, it didn't die. No, it didn't. It has one HP. It's okay. Evelyn can take him out. Yeah, except that, that burn hurts. That's yeah, like a little bit. I mean, otherwise you could just... Zap. Yeah. Goodbye. Because we heal for three after every fight. Ooh, interesting. Song of Celerity. That gives speed to all heroes, for one. There's also Camouflage, which is draw one card, gain two slashing and piercing damage, and one stealth. That? I like the... Look at that Camouflage yeah. card. Yeah, go for it. Because you need a stealth item anyway. Oh, the Ice Lance is essentially the the flame thing, but for cold. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. This one applies slow. The Curse of Exhaustion. Mm-hmm. Deal six shadow and exhaustion. So should I do the Ice Lance or should I do the Curse of Exhaustion? Uh, I, I don't know. I am mixed. Uh, unlocking any of those might be okay, but honestly, I'd say just go for the shards. Oh. Later on, we get automatically upgraded cards, so unless any of these, like, really speak to you. I, if you really want the Ice Lance or the Curse of Exhaustion, like... The Curse of Exhaustion's interesting because what if we could slow a yeah enemy so that it doesn't attack It's It still gets a turn. It just is at the end of the turn order. Uh, okay. Ice Lance would be almost worth picking up so you can have a Frost build, but... Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. You are at the entrance to the Burning House. Clearly, this was a poor man's house, and you can see that the contents inside are already destroyed or burned. Before you leave, a chest catches your eye, although the chest is still on fire. The fire is spreading rapidly, and there'll be nothing left in a few moments. Do you venture into the flames? Grab it. For the poor man's chest? Grab it. Higher than three is fairly reasonable. Yup. Mm -hmm. Success. You get out safely with the precious reward, even half burned. Yeah, so it's 40 and then yep. some experience. Not huge, but not terrible. Hey, we also get an item. Ooh. <laughs> the burned item for armor. So those are things that are just done. Done yeah. for. Not worth it. Ooh, now she could get the wand. Isn't this just for magic damage? That's fire damage, specifically. Oh, fire damage. I don't have fire anymore. Mm-hmm. Should I'd I just get the tunic for resistance? Acolyte tunic or agate amulet. One or the other. No, oh. I, that would replace my existing necklace. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, so go for the acolyte tunic. I was thinking I might want to go for the dart pouch for... Yeah, for the other guy. Yeah. I'm going to go for gold um, for my two characters. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that dart pouch is perfect for you. Yep. And down we go. Oh, pacifism. All monsters gain... Oh, disarm? Unable to play attack cards. For, so they can't attack for their first round. But um, we gain a ton of resources. I'd say it's worth it. Okay. What manner of creatures will be encountered? Oh, 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 so it's the corn and instead of the shepherd, now there's the farmer. So he has a sickle and a watering pail. Oh, every two rounds we can't attack. Oh, that's not, that's not bad. Oh, interesting. 
Okay, Better so make the most of it then. Oh, look at that! I got some darts! Yep. That's fun. So I'd probably trace Evelyn. Just so I can ensure she gets good stuff. Yeah, so I would get rid of uh, the two cheaper frost bolts. Because mm -hmm. you don't have enough energy for the rest. So who should I poison dart? Start with slight, uh, slight, s Slice the, the front guy. Okay. Because that applies mark. Uh, it applies well. the mark. Yeah, and then I actually wouldn't poison dart him. Uh, give me a second. So let's do the math. You need to do 17 damage to the front guy to get him to die. Uh-huh. So I, I shot him, actually. I mean, it, it's a 7 and Yeah, that'll 11. do 18 damage, and then it'll just bleed out. Uh, okay. So poison dart the next guy? Or should I start going for some of the shepherds? Or oh. not the shepherds, the farmers. Up to you. I suppose we can take them in order. Is this the one? No, nope, this is not the one that bleeds out. Mm -mm. Alas. It's a little bit charred. Oh! Watering! You scum! Yep, they're healers. Alright, so, new target. Kill the farmers. See what I mean? Mm. See what I mean? Okay, so I can do charge battery on them. So. Right? The one cautionary tale is that you can't do both charge batteries and the big frost bolt. Mm -hmm. And you probably want to do the big frost bolt and one char charge battery. So should I frost bolt the... First farmer? Ah, uh, mm-hmm. And then charge battery on him? Yeah. Okay. So honestly, I'm just going to kill this guy. Mm hmm. Because even if he could bleed, the farmers might heal. Yeah. Okay, so we can't attack this round. Well, I that that's int actually interesting because my two attack abilities have a red mark around them, but my other abilities. Yeah, so you can do are... everything else. Mm hmm. I probably don't need to do Adrenaline. No, or, you should. Because no. Adrenaline is a net gain. So that means I can just accrue stuff. Yeah. Should I apply a mark to anyone? Ooh, the, probably the first farmer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We may be pacified, but they will not hurt us. Yep, they took a little bit of shock damage there. Not much, though. Yeah. That's, that's how it works. If we got them really wet and combo- Like, comboing water plus lightning is really good. Mm-hmm. So I could just zap, but it would be random. Yeah, go Otherwise for it. Uh, I'd battery. start with the charge battery first, because that applies the zapped debuff. Sh should I apply it to someone else, then? Nah, hit the middle guy. Because that way he hits both of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you could spread it around, but you might as well just keep stacking it on him so he... Ah, uh, they both hit the front corn. That's okay, front corn needs to die. Anyone I should ward? Maybe oh, Magnus? Wait. How are you able to attack? Uh... Because this is Evelyn. I am confused. And those were those yeah. are definitely attack you, you spells. You might as well uh, shield Magnus, because I've I built Magnus around bl blocking for much of the rest of the party. That was weird. Yeah, I, I did. I was on disarm, but I had attacks. Unless magic doesn't count. Is it only physical attacks? Maybe. Unable to play attack cards. Maybe attack cards are different than spell cards. Could be. If you had gotten a smite or something, it would have been nice to see if yeah, that was the case. Yeah, unfortunately, 
No such luck. However... Oh yeah. Look what I got. Camouflage. That's fun. I can also poison dart. Should I just poison dart the guy in the middle? Again? Yeah. Yeah, you might as well just big bully him. I think if... If I hit him with the poisonous shot, would that be good? Yeah. I mean, honestly, you might as well just hit him with the aimed shot, too. Mm-hmm. Squandering a little bit of that poison damage, but killing him quick. And you might as well slice the corn. Yes. Especially since it adds a mark. Yep. So what's he doing? Water spray. Okay. Yeah, it didn't quite kill him. I'm curious though when we get to the obelisk, is it going to be the source of the odd blue blossoms uh, and the flower magic? Maybe. Oh, isn't that interesting? I got more elemental wards. The zap again. Unfortunately, I don't have anything. I curse oh. the elements. The... Curse of the elephant means yeah. the guy in the back. Yeah. And then zap. Yep, happened to hit him. And then try and smish the ranger? I suppose that would energize and inspire him. Yeah. Any wards that I should put up? Nah. Really? Eh. I don't know. I mean, if you want to. I'd... I could ward him so that he's very well defended. If you want. If you want to. The thing is, like, it only really matters... Well, I don't know. It varies heavily. Ah, yep. Got rid of him. Delete corn. Let's see. Ah, uh, yep. There's the pacifism again. Well, I could poison dart and yeah, I could deflect. Yeah, give it a shot. I, I don't... I'm curious about disarm if it's not working correctly. Anyone I should trace? Uh, Evelyn, probably. So that she can get other abilities. I mean, charge batteries and zap Yeah, this is bad. actually perfectly f fine setup. Okay, well. Start with the slices. I can't. I can't slice. You sure? See, they're red. Oh, I don't see the red. The poison darts huh. are the ones I can use. So maybe just ranged attacks. Well, no, like because something? it doesn't... It doesn't... Yeah. Include bows. I think the darts aren't considered a weapon. Interesting. Just the same that spells are not. Okay. Trying to get us wet. To no avail. Hot. Hey. Yeah, so I can't actually see red borders on your cards. Mm -hmm. Well, I can use all of these. It's strange. Yeah, her Frostbolt is perfectly fine. Yeah, Frostbolt. F uh, no, I guess it doesn't matter. I should zap. And Frostbolt will kill him. Yep. Bet it will. Hey. We are satisfactory. Explosive shot. Target on the sides get 10 fire damage. Ooh. Deal 10 damage and 19... I like explosive That's shot. That's pretty good. Uh, the one thing it's is... It's obviously high cost. The one thing is, and I might I might say this might be worth it, Chant of the Initiative gives you stanza. So you could finally start specking into bard stuff. Oh, really? If that's what you want. Personally, I'm mixed. I, the one I, thing I will say... I really want that explosive shot. The one thing I will say is it costs four. Yeah, true. So, it could... The other one I will say, I don't know. Yeah, I don't I, know. I think I should choose shards because this is all fire and I'm not doing fire. Okay. Right? I mean, flare is pretty cool, but... Yeah. I don't know. I just... Explosive shot looks If, if really that's cool. what you want, go for it. I just like the idea of being able to do additional damage to the adjacent creatures.
the suspicious hatch. Yes, let's take a look inside. You come across a house in ruins, and inside you see a large hatch. You try to open the hatch, but it is properly closed. A few seconds later, a voice speaks to you through the hatch. Only those touched by the flames. Then the voice remains silent, as if waiting for a passphrase. <laughs> you don't know the passphrase, so you leave. Jumping on the hatch will break it. The problem will be who will land on their feet. I feel like trying to open it isn't that bad. Yeah, try to open the hatch in a safer way than jumping on it. Definitely. Higher than four. Come on, God. Oh, of course we <laughs> fail. You took too long to find a way to open the hatch. A pigman patrol comes by and attacks you. You hear the hatch close even tighter. You can no longer do anything about it. Wow, that was... Rude. But at least we get to fight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, look at those darts. I really like this pouch. Because I get the darts. Okay, what should I do? Uh, Trace Evelyn? Probably. Yeah, I can see what she's up to. Zap and frost bolts. I drop one of the frost bolts. Oh, that's that's the big frost. Yeah, bolt. I dropped the other one. Okay. So you got four energy. Well, the interesting thing is I could just explosive shot and see what. Oh, but then they're probably gonna receive less fire damage, right? Yeah, the imps take less fire damage, so that one's kind of a trade-off. You uh -huh. could. Ice shot and poison dart. So, if you ice shot, mm -hmm. honestly, go back to explosive for a second. Yeah. Deal 10, 19, and then side targets get 10. Yeah, but instead they would get the threes. Because all of these the, guys the have three, fire resistance. The three, the seven. Yeah. Yes. So, I, if you were to do explosive shot, I'd probably aim for the second pig man. You lose a lot of damage on that one. Mm -hmm. Just because they're all fire based. So I would say Either way I should apply the poison dart. Yeah. Should I apply it to the front imp? I'm just trying to yeah. Just so he dies more swiftly. I'd probably Okay, so I shot for 3 is going to do 16, but only to the center pig. I'd explosive shot the center pig. This one? Yeah. I mean, it's only a smidge of damage to those side imps, though. Oh, well. I mostly wanted to get the uh, the first imp comfortably within the kill zone for Evelyn. Mm-hmm. I, but then I, I could have say, done a, then I could have done a named shot at him. Uh, or was it the frost shot? Yeah. Ooh, charge battery. Should I charge the pig? So yeah, I'd almost say uh, whale on the pig, charge battery, and frost bolt the pig. Oh, and then I could zap. Yeah, and you'll just zap, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> hey, perfect. Got that guy. So hopefully, I'll draw some offensive. Nope. Nope, it's just all heals and barriers. Uh, oh, there's a go. flash. Okay, fixed, kind of. Alright, what do we have here? I could poison dart someone else, the pig, or uh, someone else. I'd almost, the last longer. I'd almost use an aim shot, just take him out in one shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that gets rid of him. And then poison dart the next imp. I Though, I guess you sh probably should have camouflaged before any of that. Because camouflage increases your damage by oh, by two. Well, it's too I'll... late, but it's fine. I could slash, but that would just get him. Yeah, I just hit the adrenaline and then, and then aim shot. Oh, aim shot, yeah. Could do yeah. it to that guy.
So does intercept allow him to block, block for somebody else? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there goes the first fire imp. Oh, bouncing embers. Oh, I got all of us. Yeah, but I I gave Magnus double barricade. Holy, that's a lot of fire. Mm, 22. That's pain. 22 stacks? That's terrible. Okay, charge battery. Yeah, probably just zap the first imp. Zip. And then can you elemental ward Magnus? Yes. Just in case I can't clear that fire. Oh, inner fire. Okay. Well, there's deflect. I could just slice and get the guy. Yeah, I would. I could also poison dart the remaining pig. And I suppose slice him. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to mitigate the damage on Magnus. But the fire the fire resistance that you gave him was more than enough. So what's he doing? Cauterization. Mm, that looks like a high level so, skill. Yeah, he's going to heal himself. Well, not enough. Oh, dispel bleeding. Apply five flames, though. Yeah, so seeing as he's going to heal himself, there's no immediate reason for me to... Ooh. Yeah, I do have a lot of frost. I mean, And I you have a lot. So I'd probably elements. start with Curse Elements, yeah. And then frost him. Mm -hmm. Frost him again. And then who should I transmission? Um... Probably the Ranger. I don't think the healer is going to be able to score a kill. Mm -hmm. His damage is, can be very good, but I don't usually roll for it because... Oh, and I was hoping that we'd be able to end in the green zone for once. I know. I was hoping so, too. But no, we'll just be satisfactory. Because I don't think, even if you could use your Holy Smite, mm -mm. it wouldn't have killed him. Nah. We got unlucky, but it's fine. Hunter's Mark? Oh, yeah. I suppose so. I'd say Hunter's Mark slice, then Poison Dart. Because remember, Hunter's Mark increases the damage of your Poison Dart. You should be able to kill him with the aim shot. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yay. We stood... Still did well. Ooh, oh. toxic rain. Toxic rain. Lose one HP per charge at the end of the turn. Oh, lightning damage taken plus one per tar charge. Removes burn from the target. So that's all monsters. So that doesn't affect us. Correct. I really that's, like this that's toxic real good. rain. I'd pick that up. I want toxic rain. Ooh, icy veins. Bleeding transforms into frost? Oh, that's on self. Weird. Yeah. Then there's fireball, which is just big damage. And another elemental ward. I don't know. Should I take icy veins or just shards? Yeah. I this would. This would make me lose one HP, but I'd take whole damage taken, ne speed negative one. Damage and heal done plus five per. And then I gain one block charge. So it makes me tougher. Which? Who what? The icy veins. Yeah. Gain one block per charge, plus five percent per charge for damage and heal done. I, I don't know. Oh, the card is removed from combat when played. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. it's kind of messy. Yep, that's a downside.
Okay. So did you want the anvil or did you want the book? So anvil would let us upgrade things, I believe. Mm, I might want to do that. Okay. The broken altar. You discover the rubble of an ancient altar. Those altars are used to make offerings with magic shards and improve your skills. The altar appears to have been destroyed on purpose, and perhaps those who did it are still nearby. This altar is barely usable, and in order for the offerings to work, you will have to offer an additional amount of shards. Using this altar under current conditions will cost you a little bit more. I'd say repair? Try to fix it. Yeah. Rebuild is not super viable for us. Come on, luck, don't screw us over. Oh, well, that's no, even worse. a shameful reminder. We got an injury? I Low don't self like esteem? Those. those are rude. No. Uh, How expensive. Uh. How expensive. It's a lot. Uh, from, to upgrade my toxic rain, it's only 78 shards. Yeah, but it would have been normally 60. Yeah, oh well. So what I can do is I can apply three poison, but no wetness. Or I can apply two poison and two wetness. So essentially double it. Hmm. I don't know. Do you think the wetness is... I, I like the wetness. I'll, I'll keep Toxic Rain, but it will be boosted slightly. I wish I had better battery skills. Or, sorry, not battery. Um... Ooh, there's this charge battery. Oh no, that's way too, way too much. Mana check? That's a gain one, one. I find, to some degree, and I could be very wrong in this one, I find upgrading a lot of the, the cheaper things can be a little bit more productive as long as you oh, intend that's interesting. around. Hmm? This camouflage, it's 234 gems, but it, the card is at the top of the deck. Yeah. Up to you on that one. And I guess... Uh, that's more useful if you have cards that specifically utilize stealth. Yeah, that's probably. true. I don't have that. I would probably upgrade your just basic free poison shots, maybe, or... No, Hunter's Mark. Can you upgrade Hunter's Mark? Probably this? Whatever one gives that, it more... Th this reduces its cost. It oh. doesn't increase the amount it applies, but... I'd, I'd increase the amount that it applies. I feel like that's... But this is a one-time use. Oh, yeah. No, never mind then. Yeah, reduce the cost. Because okay. that way you'll always be able to pop it before, like, say, two aim shots. The Last Sentinel. You arrive at a crumbling watchtower. This tower was first the first point of defense in the Wolf Wars against the wild werewolves of the forest. When you enter the tower, your eyes catch a dim light that filters under the rubble. It is a golem. They were the best defenders Synenthia has ever known, but they were dismantled after the war, and it was thought that there were no more left. The power supply seems to be damaged, but maybe if you can find a replacement for the core, you can repair it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. You hide the golem and keep it more protected so it doesn't take any more damage. Maybe in the Velcarath Mountains there is some creature near the volcano that has something that can be used as a core. When you were hiding, hiding. Yeah. I know it's supposed to be hiding, but it's hitting. Hitting the golem, you found some magic shards. You get 200. Oh wow, that just that was 200 for both of us apparently. Yep. Story time! In the forest, you found a large open space that seems like the perfect place to rest a bit before continuing your journey. When you go to set up camp, you realize that We've there is- We've already read this one. Oh, share some, share some stories. Wait, but look at this! There's- We so... don't have that other quest with the tree. Lower, lower than two, adventures in the forest, vaguely the lower tell Lower than them. two 
is... Very, very, very unlikely. Yeah, that's a solid 50-50. I mean, we could try it anyway. Our luck has been absolute garbage. But if you tell them that you want to reach the obelisk, what if they're... Yeah, let's just leave. What if they're enemies in disguise? Let's just leave. Huh? When you say no, you hear them growl a little. But they stay in their camp and you leave. I think if we stayed... They're werewolves. They would have been wolves, yeah. Okay. I'd say we go down to the shop. The Yeah, the forest arch. Sure. Because we, we have 500 coins. Yep. Yeah. The werewolf stall. You come to a large stone arch in the middle of the forest. And to one side of the arch, you see a stall run by a werewolf. When you approach, he says... Hey, hey, finally some customers. Come close and look at my wares. Half these items come from bandits. I'm sure there's something interesting you might need. Oh, by the way, I didn't kill that boy over there. He was already dead this morning when I came to set up the stall. Let's uh, try to bargain. You didn't even... Lower than six seems viable. What? what? Uh, try to get a discount by pointing out the dead boy next to the stall. That is... And watch you get roll explosive shot. Well, come on. Uh, it was the frost bolts. Our RNG is atrocious. Well, the weird thing is we always get it exact. Yeah. Exact. It should be less than or, or equal to or something like that. Yeah, but we always roll exactly. Yeah. Does low self-esteem do anything to us? It's It doesn't hurt us. But, uh... But we can still shop, right? Or does he just turn no, us I away? No, I think we just failed. Wow, that sucks. What? What? Burning weapons. All monsters gain... I'm, I'm thinking we do every hero will be able to remove one card for free from their deck. Okay, sure. Because the fire damage is annoying, but... Well, what would we remove? Low self-esteem. Oh, no! It's the uh, plants. Wait, but... If they're going to be applying burning to themselves, what's wrong with no, that? No, to us. Uh, when a monster deals damage, it applies fire. Well. I. Attack the dryads, I guess. And we've been cheated so many times in this particular run. Yep. When it comes to those special events. Now you can, oh, interesting, you can make the Dryads bleed. You just can't make the uh, the Thonkers, the Trunkies. So I'd start with a trace. Uh, on who? Yourself. You got two draw, draw cards uh, right there. That is true. I'd get rid of the two poison. Uh, I'd get rid of a slice. Really? That's my nice slice that applies a mark. Yeah, but you don't want to be hitting the Trunky. Oh, it is a front monster. Yeah. You're right. Because I absolutely agree with you. It's just... Okay, so I just try to attack her mm -hmm. with these shots. So does the low self-esteem just waste space? Yeah. They don't seem to have a negative effect. It's no, just it's wasted space. No, it's not like space. the burning wound or whatever. Oh, it's only when they do damage, so this isn't actually so bad. Because that doesn't count through shields. Mm hmm. Okay, then. Well, mana gem. Now, I could do an elemental ward to help one of us. Um, eh, I don't think you need it. No? No, because Magnus goes first the next round, and we should get barricade. Yeah. Crossbolt. Then probably transmission... The ranger? I don't know. I suppose if he gets the most... Are you sure I shouldn't give a ward to someone? I don't think so. Not yet. We haven't taken a whole lot of damage. Sa save... Save your energy for... For harm. Uh-huh. Well, you could holy smite. Yeah.
What? That didn't kill her? All right. All right. That was rude. Oh, you weren't going to healing rain us? No, we're not burning enough. And that's a single use. Uh, mm hmm. Not burning enough. <laughs> I think I might just get rid of the bleed cards on Magnus. They don't seem like they're worth it. Mm hmm. I could do more frost bolts, I suppose. I also have the upgraded transmission. Yeah. Or no, maybe that's just the normal one. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably just double frost bolter. <laughs> uh, okay. And no then save ward? Save your juice. Save your juice. Save the juice. Life bloom, ah. Yup. Pretty much undid all my accomplishments from the past turn. Though I suppose they still have frost. Yeah, I'm not as worried about the damage. It's mainly just killing these guys quickly is hard. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tainted Trunky. So the the uh, second guy is actually like a higher tier. Yeah, they did have a different color. I was wondering about that. Kind of akin to how the the sheep were different, the... Yeah. Ooh, mm, but those are slices. You got five. I Yeah, I'd just shoot the dryad. And she already has some freezing, so yep. that should help. And you go first the next round. Oh, wow. That I do. Hunter's mark on her, perhaps? Yeah. And I'd say camouflage. Ah, uh, gives me another dart. Mm hmm Oh, the one thing is stealth goes away after you attack. So you want to actually uh, use your big hit. Uh, uh-huh. Um. Oh, because then do I do more damage from stealth? Yeah, it's oh. like a 20% damage bonus. I wasn't aware of that. It's okay. I mean, so does that mean she's going to die of poison? At the end of her turn. Uh, uh so she might heal herself. Yeah, she's going to heal herself a bit. But she has another life bloom. Or no, tranquility? Grant yeah. six. It's okay. Heal eight. Yeah. And that actually took all the poison off. That sucks. I'll see if I can take her out. We'll see how my priest goes. He is very random on how useful he is. He's a great healer, though. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's a heal. Yeah. I've definitely specced him for being, uh, for keeping us alive. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, both of those guys have thorns. Oh, well, this sucks. Well, uh, just curse the, hmm. Do I even bother <sighs> charging? You could hail... Mm. Curse of Elements Yeah, just go Curse of Elements. On her or one of the other guys? Just on her, killer. Oh! I, I didn't realize it did... Then, I did do shadow damage, yeah, right? And then I would Elemental Ward Andrin. 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 Yeah. Ranger. Mm -hmm. And then I'd save your energy. I wouldn't even zap. Not even they, zapping. they've got pretty high thorns. Because Andrin goes first on the next round, so you want him to be able to... Uh, yeah, I could do Toxic Rain. You might as well, because I don't think that does direct damage, so it shouldn't proc thorns. Yep. And then I'd probably do Adrenaline, then double slice. That will hurt him, though. No, it it hits his thorns. Ah. Or not his thorns. Uh, his thorns hits his shield. And hopefully <laughs> Magnus actually draws Barricade. There we go. Okay. 
she's going next. We're once again in the satisfactory zone. These guys are brutal, though. Mm -hmm. Like, we, we knew this was going to be an uphill battle. Okay. Well, it looks like I have Frostbolt and Charge Batteries. You might want to do... Probably Charge Battery, Charge Battery, and the Lesser Frostbolt. Because they're wet, so they get the extra damage. Yeah, you're right. How on fire are we? Not very, but I'm gonna pop it anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, it's close to being defeated. Yep. Yeah. It's just slow and these guys are mean. All right, round five. Yep. Round, this is taking too dang long. <laughs> Bank up. Okay, so she should be able to... Honestly, I'd say just Frostbolt the front guy. Mm-hmm. Destroy them. Yeah. Zap. Or should I charge apply the first. charge battery and yeah. then zap? Because then they'll be the only no. target. Oh, you had two zaps. I thought you had two charge batteries. Just like, no. No, I had two zaps. Yep. Frenzied termites. That one had blue lettering. A little bit upgraded. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you got five. Should I use the extra yeah. poison? Yeah, go for it. And then, I don't know if I should use ice or just an aim shot. Oh, this one does more damage. Yeah. Ice, ice shot does more, actually. He's got a higher resistance to physical than ice. Ah. Though I guess ice costs more, but it's fine. I've got three. I do a fade and then a holy smite. Mm -hmm. And then a flash. Then a flash heal. Not bad. Take him out. Free us from this torment. <laughs> Slice him. Dice him. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> hey, we actually go get to we get to go see the boss. When does that happen? Yeah, but ooh, tune up. Weird. Reveal three. Song? And yes, yeah, wait, stanza? Does this give stanza? Piercing damage. Oh, pick a card from your discard and place it on top of your deck. That's interesting. Ooh, malicious eye. Sight and deal shadow. Ah, eh, not not the best. Wait, why is the sap gold? Look at it. Uh, it's it's upgraded, so it applies to the shock status. Oh, interesting. So that's actually really good for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. But do you think I should take Scavenge, or do you think I should take Tune-Up? Oh no, the Scavenge is only one-time use. Yeah. So this is- is this gain one stanza? Yeah. So Tune-Up would be useful if you want to start doing Bard stuff, but currently isn't that helpful for you. Yeah, I know. But in the future. Mm-hmm. Also Wander. Yeah. You haven't been distracted, have you? With? You just seem, haven't seemed to. I, it's it's a strategy to. game. I'm lost mm -hmm. in thought. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide what to do. Uh, let's see. The real question is do I want. I'm going to grab Bluff just to unlock it. 